Today's video is going to be about trailer light repair. And I've got this one already taken down. But uh, the repair I was going to do kind of got a little bit more extensive. Because if you see right there, you've got bare wire showing. And so what we've got to do is we've got to open up the fixture. And inside the fixture you'll see two copper tabs. You've got to lift up the copper tabs, push this wire back through, and then release the copper tabs to grab the wire. That'll start the first part of our fix. And the second part of our fix is going to be the metal bracket that holds the light bulb in comes loose because it's only held in by these two bolts right here on the back. And when that comes loose, the bulb pulls away from the copper tabs and you get no light. So we're going to fix the wire first and then we're going to go in and tighten up these bolts and tighten up that bracket and then we'll test it and see if we're done. Okay, I wanted to bring you in and show you what I was talking about earlier. That's the light bracket right there. It's held in by two brass colored bolts. Look like this. They got a grabber on the end of it. Fits down inside that hole right there. And what I did was I unscrewed it from the bottom right there. Pulled this copper bracket out. And then I re-wrapped or re-spun this wire and then pushed it all the way through so that all of the wire was inside the housing instead of outside the housing where it's short out. So I've got it all in and then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend it over the bracket. And that's going to give me a little added security. It's not going to go anywhere. So now I've got that done. I'm going to do the same to this side and then when I get ready to put this metal bracket back on I'll put the bolts through and use the nuts on the back side to tighten it down. And then we'll test it and we'll see if we got it fixed. Alright, I wanted to bring you in while I bring this uh, bolt down. You'll see the neural edges on the bolt. What you want to do is on the housing it's got the same knurled edges. You want to line that bolt up until it gets right inside those spaces in the housing. And then take your nut on the back side like I've got here and you're just going to tighten it down like normal. When you get it all the way down to the point where it stops you want to put a small snug on it. You don't want to go too much you'll crack the housing if you do. And then once you've got it down take the nut off and then you can remount it back to the bracket and then we'll uh, test it and see how it works. We've got the light put back together and I wanted to show you the nuts. These are what they call locking nuts. And they've got a, a grabber lock washer built into them. Can't see them too well because my camera's not focusing today. But this is how they'll mount. You'll mount them in backwards. What happens is over vibration, over the road or however, these nuts will occasionally back themselves off because you're putting the flat side up against the flat side. So it's got nothing to hold it together as far as keeping it tight. And these nuts are important because they hold these bolts in. When these bolts come loose, that light bulb will fall away from those copper tabs right there and you won't get any light. It may happen to one side or both sides depending on how it's set up. Uh, so you, you want to make sure that these are tight on the back. Maybe routinely, like maybe every depending on how often you use your trailer you may have to do this once a year you may have to do this sooner just whenever you notice that your lights are not working anymore you need to do this you also want to check your wiring too our wires if you saw at the beginning were sticking out of the back to where you could see the copper I've got them pushed in I've got them bent over in the inside so that they won't come out and then copper tabs the way they're designed they will hold those wires in place so now we're going to reinstall the light onto the socket or the bracket on the trailer. We've got to make sure that your wires sit inside this little cutout on the back. There's a cutout on the back there that they sit inside. And when you set your light in, you want to when you put this light in, you want to make sure that you have enough room for the wire to feed through because they feed the wire through the bracket. And then you want to go ahead and put your bolts back on. 
You want to put these in just like this on the back and get one started here. And then get your nut put on the back side like that. And then we'll zip it down. We'll put the light bulb in and then we'll do a lights check. And if everything works, then we're done. Okay, we've got our bulb reinstalled and we've got our bracket on. You want to make sure when you tighten this up that you get it as tight as you can because what you're tightening it up against are those two nuts that we talked about earlier. So you're not going to crack the housing. All you're doing is you're tightening it up against the bracket. It's also a grounding point so you want to make sure that you get it as tight as possible so that you have proper grounding for your light bulb. So now we're going to go we're going to start up the truck and the reason we're doing this is for some reason on Ford Rangers from 96 on up they've got a fault if you have a radio like this one where it's a factory CD player you want to pay attention to it because I've had a situation come up recently when I was uh, working on this trailer that I lost the clock feature it just disappeared and then I guess it was uh, after the truck had been sitting for about a month without a battery in it I put the battery back in it two days later the clock came back so something along the trailer wiring shorted out so what had happened was I lost my clock so what I do is I will start the truck and do the, the lights check this way because what you're doing is you're keeping the battery charged so it's not likely to cause a short if you do it this way however last night when I was working on this trailer I had the right turn signal on checking it and it was sending a short through the system to where it was making the clock flash so if you're working on a trailer and you're using one of these rangers to pull it you want to keep in mind of what might happen so we got our turn signal on so let's go ahead back here and see if we got our light fixed let's see we're going to have to move the bulb the bulb's not working today the bulb's fine by the way it was just working a little while ago now let's turn on the lights Check our connector real quick, make sure our connectors are okay. Connector looks good. Wires look good. I chewed the wires up when I first bought the trailer, so I had to rewire it. So that's why there's a lot of tape on it. So let's go ahead and turn off our turn signal. Turn on our headlights. We'll check our lights. We got our side marker working, so we know we're getting power back here. Our other side marker is working and our tail light is working. So, this leads to the next step, which is we most likely have corrosion on the light bulb itself. So, we'll take the light bulb out again. We'll clean it off and put it back in and see what that does. We got our area cleaned up. I used my electronic parts cleaner and I cleaned all the surface area up and then I did a continuity check and found I wasn't getting any power. So I went up here to the truck and I found that I was getting power up here at the truck. However, the problem was my connector wasn't plugged in all the way. So since I also had a little bit of road rash on the wiring, I went inside and got this uh, plastic wiring cover and I taped it on both ends. Some people prefer to use wire ties, but I never know where my wire ties are, so I just grab my tape. And then I retaped the two wires up here because they looked like they needed to be retaped. And then I tested it again. And so now we're at the point where we're going to turn on our four ways again. And we're going to check and see if we have our blinking in the back. And if everything works out right, we will be done. We have blinking. Check that out. Let's check the other side. We have blinking. Our lights are finished. And it only took about literally a half an hour to do it. 
So if you have any questions about what we did today or you want to see something in detail, leave me a message down below. And then I will do my best to do that for you. Um, if you have any ideas for future videos, also leave those below. Don't forget to subscribe. And we will see you all next time.